victory over John Badbone's clinger at no regrets. Miller, if he can win again here, if he can overcome the odds a second time against a much more experienced opponent, then he will leave here with his first ever taste of championship gold. And what a nightmare that would be. Do you agree? No, of course I don't. Oh, here comes a real champion. Here comes a real ambassador for Defiant Wrestling. Here comes the kind of athlete that should be celebrated on pay-per-view worldwide. refused to do what he's supposed to do as internet champion and defend that title for free on YouTube. He's a pay-per-view attraction, okay? Exactly, Bradshaw, what are you looking at? Those brown trunks, for one thing. Beautiful brown trunks. Who are you to besmirch the good name of Martin Kirby? Who wears brown trunks? Some of the best wrestlers on planet Earth have got by in their careers and won championships wearing brown trunks. And here tonight on Loaded in your main event, your internet champ, Martin Kirby, will defend a championship wearing brown trunks. We won't get caught up on the colour of his trunks, but we will get caught up on the fact that maybe those trunks are brown for a reason, because if I was Martin Kirby looking at the physique, looking at the role that Simon Miller has been on, and there is reason to believe that we could be in for another upset here. So the colour of Martin Kirby's trunks is... There we go. Is, isn't that just wonderful to see? Oh, what a gentleman. Yeah, Simon is laughing, as well he might, because I don't know if Miller, if uh, Kirby rather, thinks that Miller was born yesterday. This is, why, this is why we are so, so lucky to have a champion like Martin Kirby in the fight rest. Miller to take it in good faith, but of course... Kirby, shock and horror, was less than sincere without from a handshake. Miller got drawn in a bit there actually by Kirby in the end head. Miller right in the midsection. And that is where Kirby will have the advantage here. He obviously has a much, much greater experience advantage. And Kirby will try every trick in the book to put away Simon Miller. Oh, here's the power game though of Simon Miller. Now that's something. As, as much as I have denigrated this man's abilities, he is still at the start of his career, and he has freakish strength, does Simon Miller. And as we've been saying, Kirby in recent months has only been a pay-per-view attraction. We are back on pay-per-view, of course, on June 29th, built to destroy, and it's a little under two weeks' time. If you want to join us, as the match is being signed thick and fast, of course we now know the tag titles will be on the line in a ladder match, we just found that out a few moments ago. If you want to join us on June 29th, you can join us from all around the world, streaming live at access.wearedefiant.com. Look at this now, Martin Kirby has this match, oh, spoke too soon. Kirby already had it in control, but there we go. The leapfrog followed by the hip toss from Simon Miller. Simon Miller putting the boots to Martin Kirby. Look at the power behind that Irish whip. Big back body drop 
from Simon Miller. I'm shocked that Miller has lasted this long against a champion the caliber of Mark oh, Henry. Yeah. You're shocked that Simon Miller lasted two minutes in the wrestling match. Well, come Have on. Have a little bit of respect for this man's abilities, will you? Come on, from YouTube to facing someone like Martin Kirby, of course I'm surprised. I thought this would be over in a heartbeat. Kirby again, though, drew Miller in. This time, though, it was Miller who was smarter. Simon Miller has Martin Kirby well scouted, even I'll admit that. Yeah, Kirby has done his homework. I say Miller, I should have done his homework. He watched a lot of Martin what Kirby. Is this? Watches every bit of wrestling he can get on the internet. He gets a two count here, whereas Kirby, I think, has maybe been a little bit complacent. He thinks he's just a, a YouTube guy, is Miller, and he doesn't need to do any work. He's just going to come in here and easily defend the internet title, but he might be very unpleasantly surprised. Oh, look at this, Martin Kirby. Just takes control time and time again, and now with a big slap right across the back of the head of Simon Miller. You know, I like to say that Martin Kirby is the excellence of execution here in Defiant Wrestling. You know what that makes Simon Miller? The Tom McGee of Defiant Wrestling. And how we've been planning that line for a couple of weeks. Kirby is in control. And his execution here of Simon Miller has been pretty much going to plan so far. Right into the kidney, that right hand. Luke Miller, of course, has had a very up and down year, if you'll excuse the pun, but he has had a, an injury that put him on the shelf for close to nine months of that past year. And then since he's come back, obviously big success, particularly against Klinger. So that was a shock against John Klinger. No doubt about it. And that is why, by the way, whenever you say that Miller has no chance here, you don't exactly have credibility, because you said that about Klinger as well. Move on. Move on. Yeah, well, if you get anything wrong, we have to move on without talking about it, right? Move on quicker. And look. Martin Kirby. Oh! That big chop. Went to the well-muscled chest of Simon Miller. Martin Kirby, no respect for what Miller does on YouTube or anywhere else. Again, he's more of a daily motion guy. Martin Kirby, I'm surprised he even has him. What do you mean you're surprised even? Well, he, doesn't, he, 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 he keeps wanting to be interweb title. He doesn't even know the, what the name of the thing is. Kirby, though, is not really very good at technology, but he is certainly very accomplished at putting away opponents and We've seen him step it up whenever the internet title has been on the line, which, as we said, has been exclusively on pay-per-view in recent months. But we, here we are on Loaded, thanks to a loophole that was discovered by our esteemed general manager to in ensure that this match would happen on the internet, on YouTube. Well, pay-per-view is where Martin Kirby belongs, and you just have to look at the wealth of wrestlers that he has defeated on his way to becoming the finest internet champion this company has ever seen. He's wearing down Simon Miller here, and Miller with that frame, as well put together as he is, it does require a lot of oxygen to flow around that body into the muscles, and what Kirby is trying to do is to starve the body of oxygen here. And Miller, not only carrying a physical weight, but after what happened at No Regrets, he now is carrying some weight of expectation, and I think that Simon Miller might find that weight a little too heavy. First time in Miller's career, perhaps, that he hasn't been considered a, an absolute underdog. He's definitely the underdog here against Kirby, but having beaten Klinger, who at least he has a chance, has he inverted the atomic drop from Miller. He's a step ahead of Kirby here. Sure is, I can't believe it. It's that agility that we talked about again. And Miller, a half second away from becoming the internet champion. Well, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Simon Miller isn't a well-versed kind of guy. He, he, he certainly did his homework on Martin Kirby. He will have watched all the internet champs matches look at this today. Note. Kirby on the middle turn with a drop kick. Sends Miller down. Miller in trouble. Kirby goes to the cover. Hooks the leg for another two count. Goodness me. What if, what if Kirby wins this? If Kirby wins this, how long will it be before we manage to find a way to get him to defend the internet title again on Loaded? I think if Martin Kirby wins this hard physical match, I think Defiant Wrestling have to give him at least a year off. Really? Well, why not? Because titles are supposed to be defended much more regularly than that. But come on, when you've got someone, the pedigree of Martin Kirby, with all that he's done for this company, how short is oh, your sure. memory? Why don't we just retire the whole championship and just make him a lifelong champion? Well, what an idea that is. Yeah. 
I think that's a yes. If Defiant Wrestling Management are listening, General Amin retire the Internet Championship and just hand it to Martin Kirby for life. We need to learn a bit more about the concept of sarcasm. Here comes Kirby charging in at Simon Miller. Miller looking exhausted in the corner, but he had a little bit left. And Kirby hit the second turnbuckle, gets clothesline down. Back elbow now from Miller. And Miller again scouting Martin Kirby's two two offense deep into this championship match. Big body slam from Miller. Avalanche in the corner. Suddenly, internet champion in trouble. We could, could we? We couldn't have a new internet champ. Miller holding him up. The power of Miller. Simon Miller, an absolute powerhouse at 240 pounds, holding the internet champion in the air for. 10 seconds there, the blood rushing to the head of Kirby, Miller, cover, new champion maybe, no. Like David Boy Smith in his prime, that, that just amazing, natural, God-given strength that Simon Miller has. Martin Kirby, he's all at sixes and sevens right now. I think, I think Miller said it's time for the ups and downs, the ups and downs. If he gets this on Kirby, then he's still on because Kirby got out of the way. And again, Miller had it scouted. Kirby needs to move the stunner. A stunner from Miller. And this could stun the world. Miller with the cover. Kick out from Kirby. Yeah, you're right. That enziguri is one of those signature moves of Kirby. And Miller knew what was coming and ducked. How much tape has Simon Miller been studying? Well, much more than Kirby has by the looks of it. Kirby doesn't need to study for his matches at this point in his career. All comes naturally. Kirby. Gets caught by Miller, Miller again has him scouted right on the back of his neck, goes Kirby. No way, no way, don't tell me that Simon Miller is about to make the impossible come true. Kick from Kirby, Kirby to the ropes, Big knee right into the face of the challenger. That's it, Sable Bomb! There we go, Sable Bomb time. Kirby smells victory here. It was fun while it lasted, Dave. Going for the Sable Bomb. Miller again has it scouted. Miller catches it, drops him. I'm at a loss for words to explain my surprise that Simon Miller has all this wonderful offense that has won so many matches for Martin Kirby, well scouted. Yeah, well, Simon Miller, a student of the game, he has, as you said, he's done his homework from Kirby. A little bit of inexperience again there maybe from Miller to get drawn in when he had a, what could have been a decisive advantage. Kirby will drop him down. He's got him in position for something here. Martin Kirby now looking to put Simon Miller away. And here we go. Kirby's got the internet title belt. Could give Miller an up close and personal look at what it means to be a yeah, champion. Maybe he knows he can't beat Miller by pinfall or submission. So he'll take the DQ, will he? The referee, get your hands, your paws off that champion. The referee's doing his job. You know he is. Raspberry me. Oh, Low blow by Kirby, come on! Cover by Kirby on oh, Miller and Miller kicked out! Good! What? What? This guy have balls of steel or something. Kirby is coming back over this way. Now he's got a chair. The title belt didn't get it done. He's brought it, he got a chair. What's he doing now? Well, I think Simon Miller has just ticked Martin Kirby off after kicking out of that low blow. This chair. It, it doesn't bode well for Miller. Kirby arguing with the referee. What is with this referee? Referee getting rid of that. Chair! No yeah, shot by Miller! Miller oh, no, giving Kirby a taste of his own medicine to win the internet title! Oh, no. I can't believe how you just cheered that on like a giddy little schoolgirl. Oh, so it's all right when Kirby does it, but oh, not but when Miller does it. It's okay for your mates to cheat. I think that's what we're seeing. Miller saying again it's over. That belt shot didn't put Kirby away. But this mate, the ups and downs certainly would, you've got to believe. Here it comes, nails it. The ups and downs on Martin Kirby. The cover by Simon Miller. Miller, oh, Kirby got his foot on the rope. And Kirby, by the skin of his teeth, clings onto the internet title for now. That is why Martin Kirby is the man he is. That is why Martin Kirby is your defined internet champion. For how much longer? It could be a matter of seconds if this onslaught from Miller continues. Supreme ring awareness from Kirby. Miller's on the hunt though. Miller is following Kirby. He's stalking him back into the ring. When he got caught, got caught inside cradle, the small package from Kirby, and Kirby steals it. 
Kirby retains. Here is your winner, and still the Fighting Wrestling Internet Champion, Project Eagle, Martin Kirby. Martin Kirby took Simon. Why are you smiling? What are you going to do? You know what I mean? Simon Miller gave everything he had, even cheeky to use the Internet Championship to try and steal a win, but in the end it wasn't enough. Well, I think that's an impressive performance from Simon Miller. Oh, look at this from Kirby! The assault! Miller still in just single figures in terms of the numbers of matches he's had here, and he came within a hair of becoming the Internet Champion. This is exactly why Simon Miller should stick to YouTube, stick to presenting those videos, mate those ups and downs and all the rest of it because you don't belong in the ring with someone like Martin Kirby. Look at this, look at this. This is ridiculous. Trying to twist an ankle, he calls it the prestige lock, Kirby. You're a bit quieter now, Bradshaw. You really thought, you really believed that Mr. YouTube was going to defeat our defiant internet champ, didn't you? He nearly, nearly did. Martin Kirby walks out of here Still the internet champion. Simon Miller, though, can be absolutely proud of his performance. But for a split second on a couple of occasions, he would have been the internet uh -oh. champion. Now, why is Nathan Cruz here? Oh, excellent, Simon. What a performance. I mean, the performance that we'd expect from somebody like you. And by someone like you, I mean a complete pretender. Hey, will you assholes at the back keep your mouth shut? <laughs> Think get a haircut is probably the worst thing I've ever heard on these shows, you stupid <laughs> dick. <laughs> well, Simon, you proved exactly what I said earlier, that you are just a pretender. That's all you are. This isn't the Nazis anymore. You can't just get a bodybuilder, put him in a pair of spandex and hope for the best. You're basically Bill Goldberg, but without the talent. <laughs> you ask everybody this question, why? Why is Simon Miller in Defiant Wrestling? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. You see, Simon Miller's got a bunch of divvy mates over at What Culture? And he walked up to those Divi friends and said, hey, I'm a big wrestling mark. Do you know what I could do? A YouTube channel where I review wrestling with no education on the matter whatsoever. You went on YouTube, you went on a, a universal platform as though you had some form of opinion that carried weight. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is about your ups and downs show is that you get these mindless wankers to appreciate everything you say. I, and I did a perfect example of it earlier. When I mentioned that a kid would be going to WWE, he'd be so unhappy, he'd get so frustrated, he'd beg for his release. What did these idiots do? Oh yeah, well done, Nathan. Give me a standing ovation. It's that easy. You just, you just give them the easy answers and that is the only reason that they cheer for you, Simon. It's the only reason they care for you is because they think that they can be like you. And if you want to be like Simon Miller, then you can. You can be a pretend wrestler because you're not a true professional wrestler. And as a true professional wrestler, one of 13 years that's traveled the globe, wrestled in over 2,000 matches, I think, I think it's my duty to give you some crucial advice. And that advice, Simon, would be to burn your boots because you are fucking useless. Cause this is my time Yeah, yeah.